Like most modern car makers, Chevrolet is on a tear to replace its core gasoline-powered lineup with electrified vehicles, and leading that charge is the 2024 Chevrolet Blazer EV. Now, it's probably the first mainstream vehicle to be based on the company's Ultium technology that we've seen under the Silverado and the GMC Hummer EV, but it is also a couple years late to market when you consider that the Ford Mustang Mach-E has been around for at least a couple years now. Nevertheless, Chevrolet is keen to make a splash with the new Blazer EV with a range of up to 320 miles and up to 557 horsepower in the SS model. In addition to those impressive performance specs, the Blazer SS also cuts a very impressive visual stance. You've got a huge gloss black front fascia up front, which is actually different from the one that you find on the RS and the rest of the Blazer lineup, and it kind of helps set the SS apart, and it also makes it look wider and lower and, and just kind of a little bit more planted. The daytime running lights also provide you with some useful information. There's a welcome animation, a departure animation, and a charging animation that help you know kind of what your vehicle is doing, when it's been locked and unlocked and that kind of a thing, when it's ready to drive, and all of that. Now moving around the side, the Blazer SS and all Blazer products have a very long and planted wheelbase and very little overhang that kind of highlights how athletic this vehicle is intended to be. The Blazer SS also has 22 inch wheels standard and a nice thick sidewall. So in addition to that beautiful design, you also probably are gonna have a pretty comfortable ride. And it really just kind of adds to the vehicle's athletic purpose and stance and everything like that. The side profile is gorgeous. I think it's really attractive with some of these flowing lines that come all the way through. And my favorite feature on the entire car is this really slick C element design right here that kind of, in my mind, if you squint, recalls a little bit the first generation Chevrolet Corvette. It kind of has that cool 50s verve. If, if they did this in white, I would absolutely love it. It'd be really cool. Every Blazer SS and RS comes standard with a two-tone roof, but you can get that on the base 1LT and the mid-level 2LT products as well, if that's your design. It's not necessarily my favorite feature, but it does look really good with this beautiful red on the SS. Moving around to the back, the taillights kind of recall the headlights just a little bit with their design, and they also include an LED animation. And then you've got the bright red SS badge to let you know that you are driving the most impressive Blazer available. And then moving over here, the gloss black blazer badge, standard on the SS, also comes with an Ultium logo in the middle to kind of remind you that this is an electric car and that you have bought the latest and greatest in General Motors EV technology. The Blazer EV is kind of a unique offering in the space because it offers three different batteries and three different drivetrains. There's going to be a front wheel drive variant as well as all wheel drive and rear wheel drive. Chevrolet says that they've done this because they want to give customers the choice that's right for them. Ranging from the 1LT model, which is front wheel drive only with the small battery that can go up to 245 miles, which is not bad for a vehicle that's expected to start at $45,000. At the other end of the spectrum is that vehicle, the Blazer RS rear wheel drive large battery, which should be able to go 320 miles between charges. The Blazer EV is capable of up to 190 kilowatts of charge rate at a DC fast charger, but that number may improve over time thanks to Chevrolet's software-based electrical architecture. So if 190 kilowatts isn't enough for you, just wait a couple years and that number will probably improve. Charging happens by way of this power-operated door right here. It is really cool and, and they said that they've done this because as much as you're going to interact with it, they want it to be as convenient and easy to use as possible. And bear in mind that Chevrolet is a company that's based in Michigan, so you shouldn't expect Frost to pose any challenge with this power-operated door. The Blazer EV also has a lot of interesting design inside as well. As you can see, they've drawn a lot of performance uh, inspiration from this vehicle with the round dash vents that look like they're ripped straight out of the Camaro. It also has a very bold two-tone color scheme in this SS version. You can get any number of different color combinations, but they really wanted to make a bold statement with this one. So you've got just bright, bright red seats and lots of cool red accents throughout. Now, here's the cool thing about this vehicle is the phrase poverty package does not apply. Every single Blazer EV, including the base 1LT model, is going to come standard with a 17.7 inch touchscreen display and an 11 inch digital instrument cluster. The SS that I'm sitting in right now also has a head up display to kind of make sure that you've got all the information you need at your fingertips. One note is uh, this vehicle is in demonstration mode, so I can't actually interact with any of the features here, but there is going to be a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this car. 
including the wide open watts driving mode, which kind of just amps up the voltage and makes sure that you have maximum performance. The Blazer SS will also come standard with the company's enhanced Super Cruise, which means it's gonna have everything from hands-off driving on the freeway to automatic lane changes when you're approaching slower moving traffic up front. It will actually make sure that there's room in the left lane, make that change, and then come back over to the right lane without you interacting with it at all. We've experienced it before and it is so amazing how well it works. It really just kind of takes a lot of the pressure off of a long freeway trip. Now, in terms of space, there's a lot of room in this thing up front because of the flat Ultium platform. However, unfortunately, it's got kind of a low roof and so there's not a ton of room in the rear. I'm six feet tall, so I'm definitely not the tallest person in the world, isn't? And, and as you can see, I'm scraping the headliner. So, you know, that's kind of a bummer and it probably has something to do with this car's panoramic sunroof. Then again, this isn't a production vehicle. This is still technically a prototype, so that might improve a little bit in the future. Now, another slight bummer about the Blazer EV is that there won't actually be a frunk. Due to some packaging restraints with the large wheels and the big front electric motor, they weren't able to make space under the hood for any cargo, but that's not a huge deal because let's be honest, most people throw their stuff in the trunk anyway. There is a lot of room back there thanks to that Ultium platform. If a frunk's important to you though, you might be better off with a Mach-E or an Ionic 5. The 2024 Chevrolet Blazer EV launches next year. The base 1LT model will start at just under $45,000 with the Top Dog SS estimated to start at $65,995. We're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for official specs like those battery sizes and powertrain options like I told you about, but until then, we've got a beautiful vehicle to look forward to driving. See you later.